What's up guys, it's Chuck from Brady Adventures. Um, we got the results of the jelly bean drill and the first major project that we're gonna do this year is the dual battery system. Um, I've been kinda mocking everything up, trying to figure out exactly all the materials. So once I get started, I'm gonna have everything that I need. Um, and I recently put that into a digital diagram and I'm gonna walk uh, you guys through this. Uh, explain to you every all the materials that we're gonna get a little bit of how it works and why it works And then we're gonna order it up and get ready to do the installation here in the coming weeks So hopefully you enjoy this video um, Please give us a thumbs up if you do and consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks a lot guys So you see our Odyssey PC 2150 and our PC 1230 um, There'll be a link at the end of this video that will take you to the video where we did the trade-offs between the different options um, and how we actually came to choose the Odysseys. These are going to both be mounted on Slee battery trays. Pretty much the only option unless you want to do a DIY type of setup. For the wiring between the MLACR and the AUX and the start battery, uh, we decided to go with one gauge wire. In the amperage charts, uh, I kind of thought I might be able to get away with two gauge, uh, but one gauge was going to be better and it, you know, I really want this thing to hold up to the long term. Uh, and if I decide to rewire this where the 1230 is the start battery, having that one gauge wire already in pr place is going to be um, a necessary thing. And, and we'll cross that bridge with you guys when we get to it. Right here, you see the MLACR that's hooked up in between the start and the auxiliary. Um, I have a 300 amp fuse. Um, so those are going to be terminal fuses. Um, right here we'll have a double fuse holder uh, between um, one going to the MLACR from the 1230 and one going back to um, the breaker and fuse block uh, in the rear of the vehicle. Um, we'll have a single fuse holder up here uh, right up by the 2150. These will both have 300 amp fuses. Um, I've decided to switch this one to a 200 amp fuse um, because I'm basically going to be fusing to the gauge of the wire. So this one gauge wire um, can handle right up to about 300 amps. I think it's 280 amps is, is about the max you want to be going through that. So you can fuse slightly higher than that. Now this two gauge wire uh, has a lower amperage and I doubt I'm ever going to pull over 200 amps through this two gauge wire. Um, it wouldn't be safe so um, I'm going to fuse that down at 200. Now this fuse block back here, this is the Blue Sea fuse block. Um, it is a max of 100 amps and the specifications say to fuse that at 120 amps. So I have a 120 amp breaker. Decided to go with the 285 Blue C breaker just because it's a little cheaper than the 187. Uh, actually like the 187 a little better. Um, and this is sort of the notional first installation of a fridge. All these other items in here in addition to the wire. Um, so I've got some half inch shrink wrap. Um, also need to get some wire covering bring to keep the wire from chafing on anything. I'm still going to need quite a bit of that. See switch wire I put question mark. I did discover this is um, specifies 16 gauge. So I'm going to get some 16 gauge wire for that. All of these things right here um, are for the eyelet connectors. Um, I kind of went through here picking each area knowing what the different sizes um, where the eyelets were going to connect to and the size wire um, so there's a lot of different um, types of connector for uh, or sizes of connector for the wire and for the lug so if you're new to dual battery systems um, a lot of people uh, wonder exactly how this works well the MLACR in particular um, has some smarts built into it and it monitors um, very specific levels of voltage in both batteries uh, and if this battery if your start battery starts to raise in voltage due to the alternator um, picking up the charge the MLACR will detect that and after a period of time will connect your two batteries automatically allowing your auxiliary battery to charge up along with the start battery um, from the alternator now when you shut your vehicle off the over time if you're running accessories then the battery voltages are going to drop um, without that alternator running 
Um, once the battery voltage starts to drop a little bit, the MLACR recognizes that and disconnects the batteries. That allows you to continue to run all of your um, accessories off the auxiliary battery, um, running that down as far as you need to um, for where you're at. Um, the MLACR also has an in-cab switch and a manual switch on top of it, allowing you to connect and disconnect them manually if you would like to do that, either when the vehicle's on or off. Um, the MLACR also has some smarts built in. Um, if you have a damaged battery or one that is uh, not really registering correctly, it will disconnect them to protect the other battery. Now, um, one thing to point out too is uh, by isolating all of your accessories onto this separate battery and fusing system and fuse block, then you're not hacking into your stock wiring, which is going to give you reliability issues. If you've ever done that before, you know that can be a real bear if you end up having a problem that messes with your stock electronics. So by doing this, you basically have a completely separate uh, electrical system that you can run everything off of and if you have a problem with those things you know they're not going to interfere with your your primary um, capabilities in your vehicle if you have any questions please let us know um, we have links at the end of the video to how we selected the switch how we selected our batteries in the coming weeks we're going to have videos on the installation of this and we'll talk more about how we picked up different things and why the next video you're going to see actually unboxing all this stuff because uh, i'm going to go and order it all right now and my batteries are on the way my battery trays are on the way um, already got my MLACR and I'm just getting ready to order all the wires and little pieces and odds and ends and man those things are adding up so check this out oh my goodness so I've got braided sleeving fuse terminals battery terminals and covers another fuse box fuses hydraulic crimper bunch of one gauge wire two gauge wire all kinds of tins eyelets different sizes for the wire in a different spot. 8 gauge wire, some more 8 gauge pilots. I've got shrink tubing, and finally a blue sea system surface mount 120 and breaker. 431 bucks. And that doesn't even include the MLACR or the batteries or the battery trays. So I really thought this project was going to be about a thousand bucks. It's turning out it's going to be like 15, 1600 bucks. But, um, it's certainly going to be nothing but the best, um, so hopefully it's going to turn out pretty good. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. And always feel free to leave us any comments or questions that you might have.